Hello Internet, welcome to another video here on my model channel. Um, as you saw a couple of months ago, I reviewed the 3D printer on the left, the Flying Bear. This week, uh, or this month I should say, I treated myself to a little uh, present. And as you can see, uh, these 3D printers have multiplied, so I've now got two. This current one, uh, which is lovely and orange, is by Eligu. I hope that's how you say it. Um, I've been trying to pronounce it properly all day, but I believe that's how you say it. So this is the same as the printer next to it. It is a DLP, so Digital Light Processing Resin 3D Printer. Now this came from Amazon, UK Amazon. It costs £315. Uh, it's dispatched through Amazon uh, and also the UK um, warehouse of Eligu itself um, and it is delivered by Hermes so do be careful when you uh, get it through Hermes as they're not the best um, courier service in the world <coughs> but so far you know I've been speaking with the customer service people at Eligu and they've been fantastic uh, very helpful very insightful and also they've uh, sort of made their own Facebook group to aid any technical queries or questions you may have with it so that's fantastic which is a big plus in my book because I've had hardly any support with the other printer whatsoever and customer service is a bit lacking from them so this is a great uh, way of doing things if you're going to produce a 3D printer. So this printer, as I say, is similar to the other printer I reviewed last time, but it's slightly smaller, so it's, it's quite good for small items, uh, what I'm doing, or slightly smaller items, um, so that's quite a good positive for me. Uh, it's not got the biggest build volume in the world, but it's still reasonably um, on par with everybody else's out there. The build volume is 4.72 inches length. 2.68 inches width and 6.10 inches height so that's 12 centimeters length 6.8 centimeters wide and 15.5 centimeters height which is the Z axis the weight of the printer is about 5 kilos so it's about on par with the other one uh, the technology is basically LED display photo curing it is cured the resin is cured by UV light on a wavelength of 405. Uh, the layer thicknesses is slightly better uh, than the other printer, uh, going for 0.01 to 0.2 millimeters. Printing speed is 22.5 millimeters per hour. So the printer itself, I only got a couple of hours ago and I haven't actually started printing with it I was just making sure that A it worked and B all the LCD and, and items on it are working uh, to a, a good standard um, if I take the UV cover off this is Perspex which is not the best material for um, sending by courier it does get cracked like my other one uh, there is a slight crack in the top but it's not too bad uh, if I you can just pull this off, it's not attached to anything. Uh, the build platform is very similar to the other one, it has a little ball and socket in here and there's two grub screws, one at the front, one at the back where you basically level it, um, which you can do in tools and the manual which comes with the printer is very well worded, got plenty of pictures to show you how to do things. Um, and also it's got a very very impressive uh, item list that it comes with it doesn't come with resin so you have to buy your own uh, it does take third party resin Eligu do their own as well so you can easily find that on Amazon as well but you get your build platform, your tank which has already got FEP film in you get your USB disk which comes with the software slicing software etc and also uh, I imagine test print model as well which I haven't got to yet 
Uh, you get various masks, three sets of gloves, a scraper, which is good quality, instructions, which are, which is this. You have a funnel and a sort of filter, which when you pour the old resin back into the bottle, it filters out any bits and pieces. Measuring cup and FEP film, which you can see at the bottom here, which actually does come with. And you get your power supply and a toolkit, which is the Allen key, uh, which comes with the printer. So that's all quite useful. As I say, the instructions are very clear measurements and what bits what and all the information about the printer and when you go into how to level you need to raise the platform before trying to put the build platform on which is quite easy to do and then you level it very simple very same pretty much the same way as the other one um, when you test your LCD screen as well to make sure that's all functioning and it goes on to explaining how to get prints off of the build platform, how to use the software which is on the USB disk that it comes with. So these are the items that come with the printer. So you get three sets of gloves, three masks, your FEP film, this you will find in your uh, instruction manual, which is where I found it. You get your little scraper, which is tucked in a little compartment just in here. Don't try and miss it or don't throw any of this out. Keep it just in case. USB, a U-disc as they call it. And that plugs in like so. So it's actually a memory card in a holder which you plug into the back of your printer. There's only one USB plug on the back, unlike the other one which has two. That doesn't really matter. You get some nice Zurons here, which are very nice, which is a nice added bonus. They come in a little cardboard packet, as you can see here. That's smashing. And the filters, so when you finish with the resin, you filter it back in to the resin bottle. So other nice little design features on this printer, the, the actual resin vat itself is cast metal, which is quite nice. Uh, it's got FEP film already fitted as mentioned. But the nice thing also on this, you have a little um, cutout here in the corner, which is quite nice uh, in terms of pouring that resin out of the printer into those uh, filters and then back into the bottle. Uh, on my other one which you can see next to it, it uh, does drip quite a lot because there is not a little uh, cutaway where the resin can flow out of the vat. To release the vat there's two little grub screws either side which you loosen off when it pulls out away from the printer. Uh, I've already gone through the build platform which is already leveled and ready to go just make sure there's no dust or dirt in the vat itself before you start printing and pouring in the resin so the small touch screen on the front is very responsive it's very quick um, as you can see extremely quick um, tools you can check the exposure on the on the LCD screen make the LCD uh, make sure the LCD is working um, you can raise and lower the platform, that's to home it back down to the, or, or to level the bed. Uh, you can make it go up in small increments. Um, so that's up, down, and return to menu. And um, overall, it's very quick and very responsive to print. Just click in there, it will access the USB around the back and you can select which model you want to print which it hasn't got in at the moment so there's nothing there and um, very good so far good uh, little printer and uh, we will give it a go in the next few hours to see how it gets on with its first print okay so the resin I'm using is their own resin, this is in grey, uh, wavelength 405, uh, comes from them, 
it's 500 gram um, bottle purchased from Amazon I think it's about 27 pound um, so the bed has been leveled the vat is in place I've slowly swirled this around because you do have to um, shake it apparently but I don't want to introduce too many air bubbles into the mixture so you just swirl it around make sure it's all mixed quite well and then we will start filling I have used this before but it didn't really work with my other printer so let's hope so just filling the vat up now Don't want to go too high, you want to go one third up and this resin will last for a few days, uh, 48 hours in total. So I've filled it up there to a reasonable level. Put the cap on. Okay, so resin in. And now what I'm going to do is just I'm going to take the camera down slightly so you can see what's going on. The deer is ready on the screen. It's all happy. Let's keep our fingers crossed and press print. And off we go. If we look down to the screen, we can see what it's doing already. So this is the first layer, and uh, the four hooves. And there is a 2,860 um, steps or layers. So it might be a while. So I'll see you next week. I'm only joking. Um, yeah, we'll see you in a few hours and see how we're getting on and um, I'll report on progress as it goes. Hopefully we will have something stuck to the build plate. Join me back soon. So, we're about 3 hours and 23 minutes into the print. 26% complete. And as you can see... I have four legs actually coming out of the resin, which is fantastic. So, as I've shown you, as I started it, there's been no modifications, nothing at all. I set it up, leveled the build platform, selected the test print, and let it get on with it. And as you can tell from the time ticking down on the screen, it's not exactly a slow printer either. This print will take 12 hours and we'll use most of the build area. Um, but as you can see on the image, we have four legs fully secure to the build platform and it's going very well. So uh, hopefully this will finish sometime in the early morning. Uh, this will start at half past five. We're now at 10 to 9 in the evening so hopefully it will be done early in the morning and so far straight out the box it's printing very well so I'm feeling very positive about this so we'll revisit it a little bit later on um, and then again in the morning alright good morning um, we had a little bit of a problem in the middle of the well, evening, I suppose you could say. Um, the original print, which I started at the beginning of this video, became loose on the build platform. Um, we, well, I put that down to basically lack of uh, bottom layers on the print, which makes it stick better to the platform. So basically, when it got past the legs. Um, 
the legs started to pull off the platform when it got to the body so it wasn't fixed enough to the build plate uh, so I went into the program uh, which is on the USB stick which is stuck in the back of the printer and adjusted the simple settings on the, uh, the, the slicing software and uh, I've resized it slightly so it would actually finish at a reasonable time this morning um, we're currently 78% and we have another well, two to three hours to go um, as you can see we're on the antlers of the deer or stag and uh, so far it's looking quite good I have to say um, I think we've lost some of its nose in there somewhere unfortunately I don't know where it's gone um, possibly stuck to the bottom of the vat but overall um, it's been very good so far the first print was going quite well as I say up until the body and then the body started to peel the legs off the build platform which has been sorted uh, this model is slightly smaller uh, so it's not the size of the other one um, but um, at least you can sort of see how it's going and uh, if we just tilt the camera down slightly you can see on the screen we're up to 79% onto the next layer on the antlers you can see um, the settings I've changed as I mentioned are the bottom layers it now has 12 bottom layers with a exposure time on the bottom of about 50 odd seconds and that seems to have solved the problem um, the other layers I've left the same it's about 5 to 6 seconds I think off the top of my head um, you can see the settings if I tilt it down a little bit more you can go to the settings on this button on the bottom and this tells you um, the bottom layers 12 uh, bottom exposure 55 seconds normal exposure of each layer which it's doing at the moment is 6 seconds so um, if you're ever wondering what your print settings are and what you've put it on and why it's failed then you can have a look at uh, all the settings on the printer itself which is quite handy uh, just going back to the main screen and carrying on with its uh, 10 hour print um, yeah it's going well so uh, we'll come back to it in a little while and we will see the finished article okay while it's merrily printing away in the other room I thought I'd show you some of the programs or the program that comes with it the program is called chai to box um, so it's basically their slicer and I've already got it open but what you will need to do is when you open it up is you will need to create an account on their um, e igloo um, um, software so you can sign up and basically you can uh, basically register for updates so when I loaded this up it asked me to sign in I signed in and it told me that I needed to update the, um, the software on this and I updated 1.20 for Windows 64 which I'm running here and uh, it's available on various other platforms so that's, that's good and um, anyway so I've printed it out uh, or, or loaded up the, um, the model from the, um, the SD card or USB stick and you can load it up you can move it around so you've got some um, on the top left here you can put it on the plate center it on the plate um, and resets you can rotate it you can see here with the uh, lovely axis lines uh, so you can rotate it 15 degrees or make it higher make it lower whatever um, next button down on the left hand side is scale this is a hundred percent scale but I think on the printer it's actually um, a little bit bigger than a hundred percent so uh, I might scale this one down slightly um, and the bottom one you can mirror it so you can um, put it across and make it slightly different um, you can also I've noticed on this program you can hollow it out so 
you don't use up so much resin in the print process um, you can auto layer it out you can clone it so copy and paste basically um, and then you can save the file now the files are all here on the right hand side which you can just about see just down here so you can add extra ones if you want just not one model but several um, and then settings very simple it tells you the printer layer height and as I showed you before the layer count is 12 uh, bottom layer exposure 55 this seems to work quite well so when you do get your printer I would suggest you change some of these um, especially the bottom layers to make sure it prints correctly first time round um, this printer has an operating window of 0 0.01 to 0 0.2 I think it was on the on the manual um, but you don't need to change very much just a few of these settings which is on the print option uh, you can change the resin type I'm just using the normal um, this is all the information about the machine um, don't need any infill structure um, that's all the G code so you don't really need to play too much of that just mainly on the print tab how layer height number of bottom layers and leave the rest um, as it is apart from the bottom exposure time which fixes it to the platform so when you've got all that and you've saved your settings uh, how you like um, you can then if you've got a complicated model you can add supports now there's a tab at the top here I hope you can see it on the camera on the right hand side where you can add supports density thickness angle uh, minimum length etc 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 so in a way it's very good I mean it shows you also the type uh, the heavy medium light types of support uh, upper diameter lower uh, middle bottom what shape it is where it fits so these are quite complicated settings to, to choose from but uh, I mean you can generate the supports I'll just do it now quickly for you if I can remember how to get out of it um, yeah let's go up there and then you can basically add your own supports if you wish or edit them delete supports um, and you can generate your own and if I can remember how to do it so it's adding supports you've got the platform so and add all so I'm adding supports you can see here it's added a, a support on the bottom and added additional supports going up to the antlers to make sure it's okay now this model should print okay um, without supports but uh, from my print it seems to be missing its nose slightly so it seems to have been cut off about um, here so it might benefit from some supports but um, I might probably find it at the bottom of the vat later on um, so that's how you do that you can remove all of them so that's not a problem go back onto the main uh, file and just make sure that is put on the plates because it's probably moved slightly anyway so you've got your settings all sorted and what you want and you know it's going to work and then you just press slice it slices the file and then what it will do it was it as you can see it's very quick which is good and once that slice it will take you through to a different window where it shows you the layers and with this program it's fantastic because it will tell you the time but also the price and how much it will cost to print a model which is fantastic it will tell you the weight it will tell you the volume so that's great for somebody who will use this printer possibly for their own mini business so we know the cost of each print um, and on the right here you, you can see the model on the left and you can see the slices on the right so you can higher and lower it and you can see you can see each layer on the left and each layer on the right which is great I really like that that's, that's great stuff and it's simple to use um, especially for me because I'm an idiot so um, you know it's um, 
it's great for somebody who knows a bit about printing but not too much and it's quite simple to use um, as I say you've got various buttons down here to see it up and down you can also do an x-ray image so if you've hollowed it out you can see if it's okay or not so that's the program and we'll go back to the print in the next few hours and see how it's going Okay, you join me back here on the final couple of layers going on uh, about two o'clock in the afternoon. And we're now on layer 3575, which is last one, so this should be it now. There we go, printing done, time elapsed, so all complete. So you just have to press yes and get that out of the way. So that is now complete. I just need to raise it slightly so I can get it out the vat a bit. And uh, we'll remove it and have a look. So overall, looks pretty good to me. Since we've got all the uh, detail in there especially the antlers look at that amazing took about 13 hours as I mentioned and uh, it's just finished at uh, about quarter past two in the afternoon started about uh, half past eleven at night after the first one failed um, but that's very impressive I think we've got all of it there and uh, got its ears I think we've lost some of the uh, nose but uh, Overall, it looks, looks very good. So I'm quite pleased with that. So, if anyone's never uh, cleaned a 3D print before, what you will need is uh, a small tub or something to put some isopropyl alcohol, 99% uh, at least. Uh, get this off Amazon as well uh, for a few pounds. It's about 12 pounds, I think I pay for mine. Um, so. You, wash it off, you remove it from the uh, build platform with your scraper make sure you uh, rinse it off in the, the alcohol and then give it a swish round in some clean water of course you've got to let it harden so leave it out in some uh, sunlight if you have any and uh, or a UV uh, lamp or something like that but overall very happy with that and uh, We'll now summarise and uh, and uh, just see what we think of it overall. So overall, after it's been cleaned up, it looks very nice. It's come out very well. Um, and although it was the second time print, although I did see some of the photos that people had tried to print it in the larger size and it had the same or similar issue to mine as it was uh, peeling off the build platform. But apart from that, after a little tweaking, it was uh, very reliable and printed very well. It's a little bit noisy uh, in terms of running. It's a bit louder than the other one that I have. Um, uh, but apart from that, it, it was very reliable and it did the job. And uh, price-wise of £329, I think, from the UK Amazon. Um, yeah, I, I like it very much. This is available in orange and red. Um, so you can have a choice between the colours. It's available from various Amazons, US, UK, Germany, Spain, France and Japan. You do have to buy your own resin for it as it doesn't come with any. Um, so I think there is a deal going around at the moment that you can buy it with it as well. Um, but I've already had some of their resin as you can see in the uh, video here. So it didn't really affect me too much but um, it prints well it's very easy and simple to use as you can see on the video itself uh, even an idiot like me can use it um, but I will still say the same thing if you have never ever printed before um, it's technology might not be for you you do have to know a fair bit about it in terms of how to get it level how to operate how to clean it and also a little bit of CAD experience as well so you understand what needs supporting what doesn't 
um, although it will automatically generate the supports like you've seen but you may need to do your own um, however I would still say it's a very simple and easy to use machine and uh, so far from just printing one item I'd say reliable it took me three attempts to get the other one to work properly whereas this came straight out of the box set up in 20 minutes checked it leveled it made sure everything was working as per the instructions put the resin in and away it went and um, couldn't say any better words uh, the people that have made this have been very supportive very helpful and um, hopefully they'll have every success with this and I hope they sell many of them uh, anyone has a question please leave them below and I will try and get back to you as soon as possible um, Illigu I think is the way you say it have Facebook groups so please join them and have a look if you're interested in their items or products uh, they have a, one specifically for this printer so please try and find it, it's the Illigu Mars uh, LCD printer or DLP printer uh, so go and see that, have a look and make up your mind for yourself but overall I'm pretty happy with it so um, hopefully this will inspire many to give it a go and see what it's like um, but as I say word of warning do be careful and wear all the appropriate uh, safety gear like gloves and masks and uh, all I've got to do now is clean it up and put the resin back in the bottle and await to print another day. Thanks for watching and uh, hope you found this video useful.